In today's tutorial, I will illustrate the steps needed to slice a web page template that was designed in Inkscape version 0.45. What is slicing? Slicing is the term used by a graphic artist to divide or cut sections out of an entire layout developed in a graphics application, such as Inkscape, uh, the GIMP, or maybe Zara. The sliced images will eventually be reassembled in an HTML document to, to make up a web page. Uh, often CSS is used to properly place the sliced images. There are many ways to uh, lay out a web page in Inkscape, uh, but what I have already open is just a simple template of a web page layout. Obviously your web page will be more pleasing to the eye. I chose to keep it simple for this tutorial. So we'll go over what I have already drawn. Uh, basically I've set up my document properties uh, so that I have a 800 wide by 600 high uh, document. I have in the background I've drawn what will be the background of your web page color uh, exactly 800 pixels wide by 600 pixels high. I have drawn a header. This is where your logo or, or your designs will go. I've drawn a navigation bar uh, you can divide that up into uh, buttons if you like. Uh, I've drawn a middle section which will be where your content of your web page will go. And I've also drawn a footer. That's usually where your copyright goes. So let me back this up. Okay, the first thing we're going to do before we start slicing everything is to make a new layer. We'll do that by going to the layer pull down, add layer, and we'll make this new layer. Uh, we'll give it a name called Slice. Uh, right away, any new layers that you make in Inkscape become active. So down at the bottom, you can see that my Slice layer is active. I can toggle back and forth between the default layer and the Slice layer just by choosing it. So. We'll leave it on the slice layer, and what I'm going to do is draw rectangles. We're going to change the transparency of our rectangle to be about 50% transparent. That allows us to see behind our rectangle and also see the rectangle. Okay, now before we get started here, uh, I have to explain that I've made my header uh, 780 pixels wide by 150 pixels high. I've made my navigation bar uh, the same width, 50 pixels high, and I've made my footer uh, identical in size to my navigation bar. And then the middle just is whatever is left. So the first box that I'm going to draw, we're going to make it 800 wide. by 160 high. That'll cover our entire header and also get a little bit of the gray background. I'll go to the Align dialog box. I'll select Page. I'll center it and move it to the top. You can see that this yellow rectangle covers our entire header. This is what we will eventually slice out of the graphic. I'll duplicate this yellow rectangle and I'll make it 70 pixels high. And I'll snap it to the bottom of our first yellow rectangle. I'm going to duplicate this rectangle, slide it down. I'll make this 30 pixels high. I'll snap it to the bottom of the second rectangle.
and I'll duplicate our navigation rectangle and I'll slide it down to the bottom of the page. Okay, now what I'm going to do is change the object identification of each rectangle. And we're going to give it a name that we can remember. So I'm going to highlight my first rectangle, right click, object properties, and I'm going to change the default ID to something like header. I'll click the set button and I'll do that for each one of these. Navigation will just give it a name like nav. You can set these to anything you, you want. Middle, we'll call it middle. And footer, we'll give it a name, footer. Okay, the reason that we do that is when we click on each one of these to export out, it'll already be the name that we want it to be. But before I do that, I'm going to change each of my four rectangles. 100% transparency. We certainly don't want our whoops. We certainly don't want our images yellow. Okay, now everything is invisible. I'll select my yellow rectangle file, export bitmap, and you see that I already have my image named header.png. So I can just hit export. I'll select my second rectangle, file, export bitmap. You can see that it's named nav.png. I'll export that. I'm going to select the little portion of my content, export bitmap, it's named middle.png, I'll export that, and finally I'll get the footer, you can see it's named footer.png, I'll export that, and that's basically it. I've just sliced four sections out of my full web page layout. So I have a header, a navigation bar, a middle, and a footer, four images that have been written out to my hard drive. Now I can use something uh, like Notepad or uh, New View to assemble those uh, images into an HTML document. And that's basically slicing. Thank you for watching. I'm HeTheNext.